What's good gamers, it's Roll Easy, and I'm back with this unlimited money glitch. I wanted to streamline it as I promised and show you guys the easiest and quickest method to actually hit this and keep duping over and over again. Now, thanks to BMXer 300ZX along with True GTA 5, we got this glitch right here. I'm gonna go over the requirements, but make sure, guys, you check out the video that I just posted earlier today. It's the shout out Sunday video. I gave thanks to everybody who has brought this channel to you know become what it is right now and what it's gonna become in the future as well. So I got really high hopes for it, but right now let's focus on this glitch. Now, this glitch, you're gonna need a few requirements. You gotta be in an invite-only session and check out my garage right here. I got five empty spaces. So remember that five empty spaces right here along with uh the car that i'm going to duplicate is actually in here as well now you're going to need an moc with the personal vehicle storage and one friend your friend also needs the moc with the personal vehicle storage but guys you only need your friend for maybe five minutes and that's it and you'll see why in a second now you're also going to want a ceo office with the garage and a mod shop you need the mod shop guys all right and you want empty spaces in whatever garage you're going to be driving your dupe in it can't be a full garage you must have empty spaces there all right then you need an rh8 inside of your moc if you're the person duping so not your friend that's helping out if you're getting the dupe you need an rh8 in your moc that's going to be the plate that transfers over so you don't need custom plates for this glitch now you're going to want to be duplicating a retro custom which we're going to be parking outside or any other benny's vehicle that you have and your helper or your friend uh in other words needs to have a car stored in his moc as well and you're going to see why in a second so i'm driving over to the spot where his moc is parked and i'm going to leave my retro that i want to dupe right here in this parking spot and then get into his car and big shout out to my boy x7i otherwise known as memphi for helping me out now this is what we're going to do your friend this is my friend's car and his moc and i'm in the passenger seat we're going to drive up to the moc he's going to hit right d-pad and start we failed right there we're actually driving into the moc you don't want that your friend wants to be stuck outside of the moc uh, on the start menu uh, basically without the animation so i'm going to show you guys right here one more time i'm back in the passenger seat this is him right here now i'm slowing it down he's going to press right d-pad and start and look what happens this is how you know as the friend as the person duping that he hit the glitch right okay so right there you saw that pause over his head that's how you know that he got it all right so now uh, what's happening is remember i'm the one duping so i'm in the passenger seat now i'm stuck on an infinite black loading screen and i'm just going to fast forward here what my friend is doing is he went ahead and went to online creator and then press start again and then went into an invite only session in the invite only session he then went and started up a titan of a job or any other mission or rockstar created you know job or stunt race anything like that he's in the setting screen and i went to go join him through the dashboard once i get the alert i'm gonna let him know once uh once he knows that he's gonna back out of the job so here we go i'm getting session details i'm telling him go ahead and back out of the job once he spawns back down on the ground i'm gonna proceed to actually going ahead and accepting this alert now after i accept this alert you're gonna get another alert and the other alert's gonna say unable to connect that's because he backed out and now i'm just gonna accept that one too and here we go this is my retro that i left outside remember uh you want to leave the car that you're duping outside uh before you get into your friend's car so right here i'm in my car right over here and i'm gonna go ahead and drive it to my moc now first you have to request your moc don't forget about that right here i was pondering because i wasn't sure whether i was actually gonna you know drive my moc back over here like i did in my previous video or just drive to it so i'm gonna decide right now that i actually have to drive over to my moc now remember this car is the one that we left out there you saw in the beginning of the video the car that i wanted to dupe that i drove out there i just parked it right next to my friend's moc and got into his car that was stored in his moc and that he got me glitched out remember your friend is getting you glitched out by pressing right on the d-pad and start if that was confusing remember just go back and watch the video one more time or go and watch my previous video where i also explain it there as well i'll leave a link down in the description for that one as well so now this is my moc and i'm gonna go ahead and check out this plate right here i got the virus plate just to show you guys i'm gonna press right d-pad and i'm gonna transfer remember i had my rh8 in there so now this is what happens when you go ahead and press a you're going to get a weird little cutscene real quick and that's it. I'm going to spawn back to where my friend's MOC was and look at that. I have a brand new plate. This is the duplicate. For those that are confused, what just happened was I went in there and I said, yeah, I want to transfer uh, vehicles with my RH8 that was parked in my MOC, the free RH8. And what happened was it glitched out 
it transferred my other car back, my original car back to my CEO garage where I got it from. And this car actually in the retro duplicated. And this car took on the plate from the RH8 that was in the MOC. That's all that happened, okay? So this is a duplicate. The original car is back in my CEO garage. And that's a dupe right there, but we have to save it first. So now I'm gonna go ahead and go into my office garage. Now in the office, this is why you need the office garage with the CEO, uh, with the mod shop. So I'm gonna go into office garage two. And I have empty spaces in here. You cannot get the uh, the transfer you know, message. If you try to transfer a vehicle uh, before this is saved, it's not going to actually save as a dupe. It's just going to revert right back to an RH8. That's why you need empty spaces. So now that I'm actually loading up into my CEO garage, it kicks you out. So you jump right back in and you go ahead and press right D-pad to enter the mod shop. And if any of you guys did the old CEO glitches, uh, you know, where we were switching cars back and forth and we were duplicating in the CEO garage, this part is similar, you know, to be able to save the car, you do have to go ahead and change something. So we're going to go to the license area and all you got to do is change the color. But I do recommend if you got plates, go ahead and change the plate as well. That's what I did. I changed the color of the plate and the plate. So I put a custom plate on it. And there you go. Just like that, we have saved a duplicate. So that's one dupe right there. Now, originally, this is where I had ended my uh, my old video, and I said, yep, that's the dupe. That's how you do the whole process. I did it much quicker here, so if it was too quick for you, I'll leave a link after the video and down in the description for the other way, where I do take a lot more time to explain just how to get one duplicate, but this is how you streamline it. Once again, your friend's out of the session. Make sure he doesn't jump back in this session, or else it kind of does ruin the glitch when you try to go back in your MOC. So your friend has to stay out of the session. He's in his own invite only session he can do whatever he wants now you know go have fun and uh you can stay in here in your session and keep duping cars so as you can see i got my original car back with the virus plate you see it went back to that same spot i grabbed it from and i actually forgot right here that i got an order up an rh8 so don't make that mistake that that i did each time you want to dupe you got to order a brand new rh8 to the moc so right here i ordered another rh8 to the moc just like that and you do have to wait for it to get delivered and uh, if you do want to streamline it even more you can actually go ahead and park your MOC back uh, or get glitched out next to your uh, next to your garage that you're using whichever CEO office it is you can try to get glitched out over there because every time you go into the MOC it's gonna teleport you back to wherever you originally got glitched out so right here, I'm going to go ahead and go right back to where I left my MOC, which is right, you know, over here by the, uh, over by this, uh, the helipad where the Pegasus vehicle spawns. And right there, as you can see, my, uh, my MOC actually got kicked to the side a little bit. It moved like 15 feet to the left. I don't know why it got, you know, moved a bit, uh, from just being straight there. So I'm just going to go ahead and straighten it back out real quick. Cause I want it to be on a flat surface just in case so I can get the animation. And at this point, I'm still waiting for my RH8 to be delivered to the MOC. So I just fast forwarded here so it doesn't take too much time. And there we go. I got the message. Remember, this is my original car. Now I'm going to go ahead. The RH8 is inside the MOC and I'm going to press right D-pad again. It's going to ask me to transfer. I'm going to say yes. You're going to get this animation. Quick little crazy cutscene and then teleport. So here we go. Quick teleport just like that. And look now. We got a brand new plate again, and we're back at that original spot where we got glitched out at. It was right here in this parking lot. So it teleports you fairly close, if not right where you got glitched out. This is the parking lot. Remember that with my friend? So that's basically it. Once you've got, once your friend gets you glitched out one time, that's it. We actually helped each other, and I helped him. I got him glitched out once, and he was able to just keep duping. In the next hour, he duped another 20 cars without me, all by himself. And uh, yeah, so remember, after you get the dupe, it's not over yet. You do have to drive it back to your CEO garage and get it saved. So this method is a lot easier to hit uh, once you, you know, once you get glitched out, which is not very hard at all for your friend to do. It might take him a few tries. Uh, it took my friend about two tries to actually get it done. But after that, he was able to hit it consistently. And, uh, and yeah, this is the way to go. It might start out with two players, but it is much, much easier in my opinion than the Sultan RS glitch, which has gotten much harder since they started, uh, you know, doing patches and workarounds for it. But the Sultan RS glitch works, just I prefer this one, I really do. And I wanted to get a video out right now before, you know, before Monday comes and maybe even, you know, they might patch it tomorrow, they might patch it Tuesday when the tunables get updated. So I wanted to come out with this so you guys can take advantage of it, uh, you know, early, all right?
I think maybe if I, pa or if I posted it tomorrow, it might be too late. So as you can see right here, this is me saving the car, uh, just changing the color of the plate and the plate itself. You only need to change one thing. Remember, it gives you a fresh plate every time, so you can just change the color of the plate for like 300 bucks. And there you go. The car is saved just like that. It can't be any more simple. So remember, I had 15 spots there, and now I have those two that I just added. So those are my two duplicates. And down here in slot five, I still have the original uh, down at the bottom floor. So that's the whole glitch, guys. Once again, you can just keep doing this while your friend is doing whatever. After he helps you out in the very beginning and he does the whole job thing and glitches you out with his MOC, that's it. You know, job done for him. So you can do 20 cars and then later, you know, you can get him glitched out and then he can do 20 cars. Really, really simple process. Really neat glitch. And I wanted to get it out to you guys before it got patched. Okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. My name is Roll Easy. Hope you learned something. Hope you uh, you really, really got something out of this. And hope you take advantage of it, you know, before it gets patched. Now, once again, like always, make sure you like the video by hitting that blue thumbs up. Subscribe to me if you're new by hitting that big red button. And turn on post notifications for the freshest and most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Peace out, y'all.